<laughs> Bear, watch out. Man, look at this all getting filled up right here, man. That looks great. That looks super good. That looks super good. And got the bamboo all the way out to the end. Had my tie support along the back of it here. That looks great also. Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning here in the Philippines. So happy weekend, everybody watching this. If it's still weekend when you watch it, well, when we got a bunch of guys here this morning, we're gonna see if we can get this piece of wood up out of the beach. You guys couldn't see how huge this thing was the other day when it was buried in the sand, but it's pretty darn big. It's maybe, uh, there's one end of it down here, like a tap root that came out. So that's about three foot of it there. I say, I say it's somewhere around 14 foot long total. Yeah, somewhere around 14 foot long total. But we're gonna see if we can have any luck to try to move it. We may try to flip it on those roots or something over, over, over. We'll see. Hot things big and heavy. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, wow. Maybe we can. Let me see. Hmm. Man, I need. I need to see if I can get a hold of that guy, Michael, if he could bring that chainsaw over here. Does the Bron guy have a chainsaw? <laughs> broken. Bullshit. <laughs> you but broken. And you but broken. Yeah. May I see if that guy, Michael, still got that chainsaw? Because if we could cut it with a chainsaw right there where I'm going to make a table and cut that root off back there, that would uh, make it lighter to move. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, remove all that stone off of there. And that stone underneath this backside too, and we'll, I'll see if I can get a hold of him. That's just gonna be too big and heavy for them to move. I mean, you see how much work it was for all of them just to flip that. That joker is heavy. So I have a plan on this. We're gonna cut that tap root off right there. And that's gonna leave that one, that one, that one and that one all flat out like legs on a table and uh i'll shave that bottom flat i'll flatten those all where it'll sit right standing up on a solid surface and then i'll cut it right in here where i'll attach a table top and then the rest of this trunk right here i have a place for it to go to right now for a post up there where my outdoor kitchen and grill is and uh if I maybe get michael over here with that chainsaw that he had the other day if he still got it and we'll do a little measuring for the height for that table cut this cut that big old tap root off and that'll make it more manageable to carry it's 
So you see these big old boulders right here. I just had this delivered here and dumped out on the beach. The guys will transfer these slowly, slowly over into some additional gabion cages. But the biggest boulders we're going to keep for landscape and get the dirt cleaned off the outside of those. They look very nice and a lot of color. Right now they got a lot of muck stuck to the outside of them. But we'll be going through hand picking some for a little landscaping decoration in the yard, natural stone, and then some of it, like I say, it's gonna go into gabion cages. And there's another load of this coming. <laughs> the nice thing about using stone nails gabion cages is that when the waves hit, hit that, all these little cracks and crevices in here absorb that wave's energy. If anybody wants to know what this 10 cubic meter load, this is a big load. You may not be able to tell it in camera, but this is a big load. 10 cubic meters of this big stone right here. If you want to know what that cost me, it cost me about 180 US dollars. Some milkfish, bangus. They got some small tuna in here. Yeah, yeah. And he says small fish, and he told me it was a koi. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying over here at the house, yeah. He'll, he'll chop off whatever you want, lock off that. He's got one he's already chopping now. Well, I was hitting you up to get some. I'll go get my... <laughs> man we can, we can get him just get him to cut off a little bit of that that tuna right there is really nice for grilling right mm, like, right yeah let's get something yeah. grilled get what oh, maybe uh how much per kilo no 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 loan nose tax now <laughs> local <laughs> <laughs> Even his nose is gonna be bloody. <laughs> well, you want to get two kilos? Yeah. All right. Well, they'll be cutting it, and you go get your money. How much? Is it no. This no. This this tuna. Hey, do I get my commission? Huh? I get commission. <laughs> uh, Oh man, the things I love about being here. Love it, I love it. Just roped old cap up in the <laughs> I just roped old cap up in the buying buying some uh fish there. Mm hmm We've been feeding him. <laughs> he gets feed us today. Involuntarily, I done roped him in. <laughs> uh, I told him, "Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you a customer. I'm gonna make you a sale." Uh, it's funny. <laughs> Some good looking fresh tuna, though. Today is Saturday, as I said earlier in the video, and Mike back in Texas in the U.S. There, one is our neighbor, our renter, and goes and rides bike stuff with us. He is in transit. He is in the air heading here to the Philippines for his very first time. I hope Mike's having a good time. I hope he enjoys every bit of his travel. First time he's ever going to do a long trip like this. First time he's ever going to see an ocean or salt water. Um, you know, anywhere in the world other than on the movies, you know. And so... Uh, it's, it's going to be an exciting time for him. It is. Um, really, I wish that he could experience it more raw, like many of you have and I have, where you don't come to somebody's house and they got a vehicle and they're driving you around. Man, the best way, I'm telling you, is come here and experience the trikes, riding on the trikes and the tricycles, the pedicabs, the jeepneys, the buses enjoy all of those experiences riding on these uh local made pump boats and bancas and all like right here these old ones here by me don't take one of these though they got a few holes in them <laughs> but 
experience the Philippines, man. Just experience that. Um, I spent years experiencing that before I bought an automobile or anything here. I did one time buy a little small motorcycle, um, like a little 110 cc bike, a little Honda. But man, experience the Philippines in the raw. When you become an old merry man like me, settled in here, uh, you, you know, you're really getting situated in. Then, you know, look at having some other things, you know, or whatever. But I tell you, it, it's part of the fun to enjoy Philippine culture here. It is. We got some upcoming trips and during this next month that uh told melinda you know instead of us driving it how about just a whole group of us get on a bus and and we just all enjoy on a bus um i miss that i miss that i think i want to do that <laughs> Chicken tanola? No. Or just tanola? Yeah. No chicken. Frog tanola? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds good.
check out that little ride right there that is cool custom built little jeepney <laughs> you ready bodyguard i'm not bodyguard what are you then You told me you were my assistant. Yes. When we got in the truck, you said, I am your assistant. <laughs> assistant, get your feet off my dash. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready. So you're ready? Yes. It's going to be hot outside. No more air con. You like the air con in here? Yes. Does it feel good? When we go back, you're going to ride in the back of the truck, okay? Okay. So you can hold everything. <laughs> wow no complaints with you you're a good assistant good assistant let's go well, I bought some gaming cages we bought some boysen semi-gloss latex white for the chapel up by the barangay hall I bought this, they call it cyclone fence, like chain link fence you put together, but we actually just cut these up and use them to tie these gabion cages together. <laughs> bought some um, Weber tile adhesive and bought a couple bags of skim coat. They got a couple little areas they need to work on right now. I actually needed more skim coat than that, but I didn't feel like buying a whole bunch of it right this minute i'll uh, just put that on top after you put those uh thank you That's one thing about this Nissan truck. It has super cold air con. <laughs> super cold, cold air con, boy. It will blow you away. Another thing I like about this Nissan truck is that it has rear air vents for the passengers in the back. And not sure about any current models right now, but when we bought this, the Ford, the Chevy, the Isuzu, and the Toyota, none had the rear air vents only one at the time when we saw this the only one that had them was nissan and that was a big thing for me too because the back rider is always hot and then you're cool up front or if you try to turn the air up real cold so it'll blow back for them then you're cold up front while they're trying to get air so that was a big plus had that plus i like the the bird's eye view camera the 360 degree where I could see all the way around the truck. That was a big plus also. So as y'all see, I'm back driving my Nissan. The part we changed is down there in that box. It wasn't that bad. A brand new vacuum pump. It goes in on the motor and on with the timing chain his labor and all fixing all of it he put some o-rings in my master cylinder as well i was going to be like say like 250 us dollars or so i mean that's all you know the the labor in the us alone for the work that they did on here probably would have been you know easily a couple thousand dollars because they had to do some pretty intensive labor to get in here and change it. And in here we're talking 250 bucks for a brand new original part vacuum pump, which was the biggest expense out of that. It's not a bad deal at all. Sometimes I laugh I say, you know what, the big problem with Westerners is they think too Western. <laughs> That's the big problem with Westerners, they think too Western. And if you haven't been over here and you haven't owned anything, had any work done, you're anticipating those massive U.S. prices and all um, to get anything done. But it's a, 
it's a different game over here and so you know it's it's pretty cheap 250 bucks the part was pretty much all of that money the labor was just hardly nothing and uh I, I couldn't let Joe go like that with the kind of work that they had done and and also I tipped him I gave him more he tried to argue it out no 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 I said you know what just take I gave him extra money just take it we'll make it up down the road I might need to borrow a tool or something from you while I'm working on one of my projects uh, torque wrench or this and that that I may not have you know and he said it sounds good to him you know um, help him out man Joe's a great guy and his guys all of them they worked hard and overcoming this problem that popped up I'm happy I'm, I'm, I'm happy so just remember be a Westerner think like Filipino <laughs> you'll fit in better Do you like when you're gonna learn to drive so you can start chauffeuring your uncle around huh you gonna be my chauffeur my driver hmm you want me to start teaching you to drive I can teach you young don't why are you being so shy huh why are you being so shy man you're hugging that AC vent she's like in that air con it's gonna be spoiled Yep, I'm gonna turn her into my private chauffeur. Stop. Yep, my private driver. <laughs> Where's some old broken up concrete over here, stacked up from those busted columns and loaded in those gabion cages. Before I had my truck back and forth there a few times. Sand's packed here and wet, and plus, uh, Got four before. Makes a big difference. <laughs> it don't have to be perfect, just put it on.
So, you pretty excited about Mike coming? Yes, I'm so excited for his uh, joining, <laughs> first joining. Man, he, he seems pretty excited. He's been sending me pictures and sending me video of the plane landing in that, Tokyo. That is cool. And it makes me reminisce of my first. And uh, I hope he's in, just loving his first trip. Give Mike a big welcome to the Philippines shout. Yes, I'm happy for him and welcome Mike to the Philippines. Man, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. 